Hi, today I'm going to be going over the question, why is it that scientists switch from a five kingdom classification to a three domain classification? First off, let's go over the five kingdom classification. Um, for many years, biologists have used the, the, this classification consisting of the kingdoms Plantae, Animalia, Fungi, Protista, and Monera. Organism, organisms were organized by the type of cell. Um, for instance, prokaryotic and eukaryotic, the level of organization, and the source of energy, which is metabolism. Here's the chart of the five kingdom classification. Now let's move on to the three domain classification. Um, well, as time went on, we, disc the, we later discovered studies of DNA has changed a lot in biology. Scientists are now looking at DNA and RNA similarities and differences between organisms to organize them. Uh, this led to the new classification system containing the three domains, bacteria, ar archaea, and eukarya. The three domain system emphasizes the similarities among eukaryotes and the differences among eukaryotes, bacteria, and archaea. By using domains, DNA relationships are able to be considered without replacing the popular king kingdom system, which is in the five kingdom system class classification. So to go back to the question, uh, why is it that scientists switch from a five kingdom classification to a three domain classification? Ooh. It is because um, that the three domain classification considers the new DNA relationships and is able to do so without replacing the old kingdom system which is was used in the five kingdom classification so it's basically a newer version so here to get a better understanding here is the the three domain classifications um, here you have bacteria uh, and here is uh, archaea and here is eukaryota. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And yeah.